Today, we're going to talk about a common issue that many PlayStation 4 users encounter, the dreaded error code CE4215213. This error message pops up when you try to register a Bluetooth device with your PS4, but for some reason, it just won't work. But fear not, because I'm here to guide you through the steps to fix this problem. First things first, let's make sure that the Bluetooth device you're trying to register is compatible with the PS4. Check the manufacturer's website or the device's manual to confirm if it's compatible. If it is, then we can move on to the next step. The next thing you should do is turn off your PS4 completely. Yes, I mean completely shut it down, not just putting it into rest mode. Once it's off, unplug the power cord from the back of the console and wait for a few minutes. This will help clear any temporary glitches that might be causing the error. After the waiting period, plug the power cord back in and turn on your PS4. Now, go to the Settings menu on your console and select Devices. From there, choose Bluetooth Devices and then Register New Device. Make sure your Bluetooth device is in pairing mode as this is crucial for the registration process. Once your device is in pairing mode, select it from the list of available devices on your PS4. Follow any on-screen instructions that may appear, and if prompted, enter the passcode for your Bluetooth device. This passcode can usually be found in the device's manual or on the manufacturer's website. If everything goes smoothly, your Bluetooth device should now be registered with your PS4, and you can start using it without any issues. However, if you're still encountering the CE4121-3 error code, there are a few more troubleshooting steps you can try. One option is to reset your PS4's system software. This can be done by going to the Settings menu, selecting Initialization, and then choosing Initialize PS4. Keep in mind that this will erase all data on your console, so make sure to back up any important files before proceeding. If the error persists even after resetting the system software, you may need to contact PlayStation support for further assistance. They have a team of experts who can help you troubleshoot the issue and provide you with a solution. So, there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide. 